Hello and welcome to your June 22nd daily briefing. It's Monday, I've had my coffee, I've had my breakfast of 10 eggs, and I'm ready to go. Oh, and for those of you who had asked about my truck with the brake failure last week, it is completely fixed now, it's drivable, ready to go. However, I'm now having another repair done on it to fix the air suspension, so it's back in the shop getting worked on, but it'll be 100% very soon here. And I'm gonna be doing more videos about just kind of like business owner life outside of this as well in the future. I'm gonna try to do more and more content like that. So, onto the news. There's been a lot of news swirling around again about the $2,000 a month retroactive second stimulus check. And I wanted to take a minute just to dive into the facts and talk about the stimulus package in question and talk about the odds of it actually happening. So jumping right in, Representative Ro Khanna is saying that there is even more reason now than ever to have a $2,000 a month stimulus check. He tweeted about it the other day saying that some people still haven't received their first check, people still have bills to pay, and we need a $2,000 a month stimulus. I mean, you really, there's no arguing with at least the first two points there. Just for reference, Representative Khanna was part of the Emergency Money for the People Act that was proposed back in April. The proposal included $2,000 every month to nearly all U.S. citizens until unemployment reaches a specific ratio. So here's the specifics of the proposal just as a refresher so you know exactly what we're talking about here. With this proposal, eligible Americans would receive $2,000 in cash per month guaranteed for at least six months. These monthly payments would continue until the employment to population ratio for people ages 16 and older is greater than 60%. The employment to population ratio is the number of working age people currently employed divided by the number of total working age people. It currently sits at around 51% and when this proposal was first made, it was actually around 59%, so it's gone down significantly, and they would have to hit that 60% bar for the $2,000 a month payments to end. The monthly cash payments would not count as income and would not be taxable, just like the other stimulus packages. The monthly cash payments would not impact anyone's ability to qualify for income-based federal or state assistance programs, meaning earning more from these programs would not disqualify you from other programs. And here's who would qualify for this program. A, a lot of people would qualify. Every American adult age 16 and older making less than $130,000 annually would receive $2,000 a month. Married couples earning less than $260,000 a year would receive at least $4,000 per month. Qualifying families with children will receive an additional $500 per child with funds capped at a maximum of three children. So here's some examples of how much you would receive based on different income levels and filing uh, situations. If you earn $100,000 of adjusted gross income per year, all of these are adjusted gross income, and you are a single tax filer, you would receive $2,000 a month. If you are married with no children and earn a combined $180,000 a year, for example, you would both, you would receive $4,000 a month. If you are married with two children and earn a combined $200,000 a year, you would receive $5,000 a month. If you're married with, let's say, five children and you earn a combined $200,000 a year, you would receive a maximum of $5,500 a month because the $500 per dependent payment is only available for up to three children. So if you have 12 children, you're gonna receive the same as someone who has three children. So back in April, Kana stated a one-time $1,200 check just isn't gonna cut it. And it appears that he's not backing down on this statement. Kana is now saying with how long it has taken to get more stimulus to the people, a reoccurring and retroactive stimulus bill makes the most sense. The question now is how likely is this to happen? I still hold strong that the likelihood of us seeing another direct stimulus payment lands at somewhere between 60 and 70%. I've been saying that for a while, and I might even have to bump it up a little bit somewhat soon because it's getting harder and harder to find someone who's against a one-time payment, at least, of $1,200. 
Uh, more and more people have at least had a comment or some comments saying they and their colleagues support some kind of additional stimulus. However, and I don't like tearing down anyone's hopes on these updates, I really don't like to, but I would give the odds of a $2,000 reoccurring stimulus check a 10 or so percent chance of actually happening. On top of that, I'd give the odds of it being retroactive all the way back to March, meaning nearly everyone would receive about $10,000 upfront and then $2,000 a month, a two to 5% chance of happening. So if it were to potentially get voted through, I think that retroactive portion would probably be the first part to be cut. It'd be very expensive to do and I think legislators who are going for the $2,000 a month package would be willing to give up the retroactive part in order just to get $2,000 a month. That's just my opinion on that, but I just see that more as a bargaining chip. Again, and I don't say this to be pessimistic, I just feel it's my obligation to not give something more hype than it deserves. I think you all tune in because I'm realistic about these things. I'm not sensational. My titles aren't all in capitals. I could you know, title this video that this is going to happen. It's amazing. Put exclamation points. But I just want to be realistic so you guys know you can come to me for legitimate information, not just to get hyped up, only to get bummed out the next day. So let's just look at some of the facts here. Even the HEROES Act, which has been accused of by many Republicans as being a liberal wish list, didn't include a $2,000 a month stimulus. I feel if we were to see it anywhere, it would have been on that package, but we didn't. We saw $1,200 one time that included dependents. It was a little bit more inclusive than the first $1,200 payment, but I feel the odds are we'll see pretty much an identical thing as the first round if we see another stimulus payment. The fight here seems to be hard fought over another $1,200 stimulus check. Really, this, this 2000 thing that we just saw the last couple days is really the first we've heard of it again in the last month or so. It almost seems like most legislators have kind of given up on it. And like I said, it seems like nearly everyone has the idea of $1,200 one time in the back of their head. Finally, the cost of future packages has been a huge concern recently. And with this $2,000 a month stimulus, it would cost around $2 trillion up front for that retroactive portion for around five months. Like I said, it's about $10,000 per person times around 200 million people is how I got that estimate. And then it would cost about $400 billion a month thereafter. To put that in reference, the entire CARES Act, which was the largest relief bill ever, included funding for hospitals, small businesses, large businesses, individuals, just state and local funding. It included, it was very all encompassing. That amounted to about $2.2 trillion. So this one stimulus bill, just for payments to people, not including businesses, hospitals, anything like that, would be more expensive than the largest relief bill ever. It's kind of hard to make that argument, I believe. It's just hard to look at the facts and say it's likely. However, I won't say that it's impossible. I think people would no doubt love it and see a huge benefit, at least in the short term. I don't know what the long-term consequences would be with that amount of debt, but I believe in the short term, yeah, I mean, of course it would really get the economy churning because people would have all this money just ready to spend. I mean, I recently bought a new computer for my office. Um, it was custom built by, you know, someone, some computer maker built it so I could help uh, get my videos rendered quickly. And he said that he has never made more sales because all these people got their stimulus check bought computers from him, like gaming computers and things like that. And you know, that's ultimately what this money is going towards. It might sound a little bit reckless on face value, but that helps out the economy. People spend that money. So no doubt $2,000 a month would be huge for the economy and it would get things churning very fastly. People would have all this discretionary funding just ready to go. However, what would it do 5, 10, 15 years from now when the deficit goes up by a huge margin? So. That's a question that's really hard to answer, especially because we don't know all the economical data. We don't know if we're in a deflationary period. We don't really know if it's inflationary. We don't know exactly what's happening as of right now. It's, it's kind of hard to guess. So it would be definitely an interesting social experiment as well. I'd be curious just to see 
what the effects would be on employment. I personally would love an additional $2,000 a month to have as this ultimate backup safety net so I could take bigger risks in my life, in business, and know that I could fall back on that and still be able to pay all my bills. So this makes me think, maybe I should do a poll on this. At what dollar amount received a month would you decide to retire or just not work anymore? Like, what's that cap for you? For a lot of people, it's not $2,000 a month. They would still work, but maybe $5,000 a month would you still work? I just, just curiosity on that. That's not really stimulus related. It's just find that interesting. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this dose of facts and realism. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.